Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. RVs with Gabby at gmail.com Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of RVs with Gabby. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you love my videos, please don't forget to drop some love down below. Like this video, comment, let me know what you'd like to see next. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. All right, we are coming up fast on the Hershey, Pennsylvania Motorhome Show. It's going to be next week. I believe it's Wednesday the, you think I would know these dates by heart by now, but Wednesday the 13th to Sunday the 18th. And we are going to have a lot of motorhomes there. One of them that you may be able to see is going to be this beautiful Integra Quest. Now this is a 2022 model. It's going to be the um, 24L floor plan in the full body coral paint package. We'll take a look at it in a minute, but I just wanted to get on here and say, do not forget to come, if you're heading on to the show, come on down to the Integra booth and ask for Gabby, and I would love to help you out and get you in your next coach on your next adventure with your family. All right, so let's take a look at this coach today here. Here it is, once again, this is the 2022 Integra Quest. Model is gonna be 24L. This is your coral full body paint package. I love it, you've got some deep, gray a little bit of silver in there and then the dark dark red is going to be right there it's almost like a maroon a deep maroon color and then some black up front and, and down the sides as well so paint is gorgeous um as i've said before in my videos it's a sickens full body paint so a nice gel based fiberglass boat paint that's going to last you um throughout the years as the coach moves down the road and bends and flexes, so does the paint. So you won't get that yellowing or spider cracking like you might see on, on other units. Um, next thing is always their one piece fiberglass front cap, right? Super high end front cap guys. It's rated for 750 pounds. You've got a beautiful automotive bonded windshield on top there for the guests sleeping up there to look out at the stars or at the um, sunset somewhere and there are no seams. So that is gonna eliminate the possibility of leaks up in that front cab, which a lot of class C's deal with. Now this, this mama's got a big price tag on her, and that is partially due to the fact that it is on the Mercedes chassis. Now this chassis is gonna have all the upfittings that you guys are looking for. If you want the rain sensing wipers, if you want the um, active brake assist, heated captain seats, um, even the lane keeping assist and the traffic signal assist guys that's all going to be on this unit in particular so if you're looking for a high-end coach that's got a lot of driving features as well as a nice layout for two or four people you're looking at her okay coming down the side of the coach we've got a nice awning armless awning with an led light strip up top don't forget about their best warranty two plus three years so two year on the interior build and three year on the structural from integra um you have also got uh, the coach net, one year of coach net. Excuse the, the, it's very loud here right off of uh, 436 in Castleberry. But you've got one year of a roadside assistance program that's gonna come with your purchase of the Integras. Love that. Outside speakers here, you've got an on-demand hot water system, the Truma AquaGo system there. That's what that panel is here. And then there's a bit of storage below the coach. Not too much, you know, it's not a C or an A, guys, um, but it'll do the trick. You have a quick connect LP there for your grill so you can cook outside and hang out with the family. Don't forget about your frameless windows. I love those. And on the back of the unit, you have this beautiful rear cap, right? Super nice looking. You've got a backup camera here. Now guys, on the Quest, you will not have side view cameras. That's because you have that lane keep, lane assist lane keeping assist feature, right? So there's no need for the side view cameras because you've already got um, lane assist on board. So hitch down here is rated for 5,000 pounds. You can pull a smaller car, little Fiat, golf cart, smart car, whatever you are into. Um, this unit is stocked with a 3,800 watt Onan LP generator, but you can option it with a diesel generator to run um, in the same tank as your, uh, your engine. So you've got that. Uh, slide toppers <clears throat> are standard on top of the slide out to protect it from leaves and branches and things. Again, this is the coral full body paint. It's probably one of my favorite paint jobs. 
I like the subtle reds and the grays. And uh, yeah, let's head inside and check it out. So this is gonna be the Denmark interior. And uh, you've got the high gloss cabinets in here. I love these floors as well. They're almost like a vinyl, but they feel like, um, I don't know, it's like a high end looking floor and they feel super comfortable. All right, we'll start at the front of the coach. So up front, seats are always gonna be a different color, guys. You cannot option them with the um, fabric from these seats up front because they do leave the Mercedes chassis as is. Comes from Mercedes like that. You've got heated seats, you've got electric seats, super comfortable leather, you don't wanna mess with it. So you'll always get that black cab up front. Um, but here is your, <clears throat> Your presets for your drivers and your passenger seat, right? It's gonna be the same thing on both sides. So you can set, um, you know, let's say Anne is sitting at one and Bob is two, and then they switch halfway through the drive. Now you can push that button and immediately your chair will go back to the size and comfort, um, or you know, the, the, the setup that's comfortable for you to drive or to hang out in the passenger seat. Backup camera is gonna be shown up there just like your rear view mirror. You've got a nice 10 inch touchscreen digital dash there. That has got everything, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, um, pull up your maps for your Apple, Apple CarPlay and Android, um, whatever the Android version is called, all set up on this dash. I love that. And no big hump here, like in the uh, gas engines where you step up and you feel kind of claustrophobic. Lots of foot, lots of room to breathe for your legs to breathe here. These chairs do swivel and there is a tabletop that will go here, or you pull that um, little piece up front and you've got that nice hot 750 pound bunk for the kids up there, or maybe two adults even. You've got ABS molding surrounded. You've got cup holders, places for your books and things, your electronics. You've got a couple of plugs for, for charging up here. And then <clears throat> this button is gonna be for your electric shade for the, which I guess is not working for me today, huh? Yeah, electric shade for the windshield. It goes up and down, super nice. That is bonded just like the windshield on the car. So you won't have any issues with leaks there, guys. It's just like your vehicle's windshield. All right, slide out here. This is optioned with the theater seats. You can get it with a dinette as well, but you know, it is pretty much a couple's coach. So that's, the theater seats are pretty standard. Um, a lot of people will, will order them with the theater seats. You have got cabinets above, right? I love that. And then you have a little dresser here, closet storage here as well. This is all of your gear for the unit. You've got some table uh, TV trays for those cup holders there. You've got a um, curtain for privacy in the cab area. You have got your ladder that folds away and then your tabletop there as well. And your, ba your bed is in the rear. It is a queen bed. It does fold up while driving, guys, because to close this slide, you have to fold it up. But the fold is going to be right around where your knees sit. So still super comfortable to sleep on. It shouldn't have any problem there. If you want to be able to sleep on this while driving, you can flip the mattress around and fold it up against the wall. And you'll have enough length this way for somebody to sleep while driving if you are looking to um you know take a nap while someone is driving down the road rear emergency exit window there and you have a place for a tv mount right across from your bed um if you're ever wondering what this little thing is on board if you see these anywhere these are just temperature gauges to tell you what the temperature is inside the coach touch panel on this one you've got that upgraded firefly system i love that you can download an app you can control your lights your slide outs uh, your awning, everything like that from this panel, which is huge. Kitchen here, again, more of these cabinets with storage throughout. I like that. Valances are a nice color, you know, nothing crazy, no bright patterns or anything like that. Nice deep bowl stainless steel sink here with the shower faucet. And then you've got a double um, propane cooktop here. Right below, you're gonna have a convection microwave here. I love this, so people really don't use their ovens, but maybe let's say you wanna bake something real quick, you can set it to um, bake. You know, you've got the temperature to express cook and bake things. So uh, it is an option on the convection microwave. And uh, yeah, it doesn't take up as much room. And they put it down below so you get more storage up top. So I really think they did a good job with this one. Another drawer below that, and then there's space for uh, um, garbage can right here. 
A lot of people don't realize that, um, you know, if you have a shelf under the sink, where are you going to put your garbage can? So they do not put a shelf there so you can fit your garbage. Solid surface countertops, guys, that's a big deal too. And then here is going to be your Norcold gas electric fridge. Looks to be about six, eight cubic foot, I think six cubic foot here. So nice, decent size for two people. Little freezer up there and then more storage up top above the fridge. Now the bathroom will be the final piece we'll look at. You have got, again, solid surface counters in the bathroom too, that's a big deal, right? This is not a, yep, it's not a wrap. You've got a good location for your toilet paper. Actually, I don't know how much I love that. So if I'm sitting on the toilet here, this is kind of a, a weird angle, but I guess it's better than, the, than on the uh, door there, so yeah. Pretty good, pretty good uh, potty position. <laughs> Stainless steel sink in here as well, guys. You've got a towel rack, you've got storage below, and then you've got your medicine cabinet and mirror above that with a bit of storage. Shower is gonna be nice, uh, pretty tall for you. You've got the stainless steel um, mounts for that as well. And then a skylight as well as a vent fan for condensation. And last but not least, porcelain toilet, right? If it's porcelain, means they thought about their build and they did a good job. Something simple, but something super important. Okay, and thus is the 24L 2022 Integra Quest. Again, this is in the Denmark interior with the um, coral exterior body paint. And it, I believe we will have a 2023 at the show, but it can be optioned with different paint colors, different, um, colors on the interior and then you have the option for the dinette instead of the theater seats again guys thank you so much for watching my channel please don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you at the hershey show next week until next time happy camping